Team Digit was recently invited to Dolby India's facility in Mumbai. Our lead audio reviewer, Driti Datta, experienced the brand's tech firsthand and spoke to Samir Seth, the head of marketing at Dolby Laboratories. So since the pandemic people have been shifting moving away from the theaters of sorts and consuming more content in their living rooms on TVs or on smartphones on the go. So how has uh, what has Dolby observed in this regard? Do you have any statistics to share and how has Dolby prepared for this shift? Right at the outset thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's always a pleasure to interact with you and your publication. Uh so uh, the pandemic in fact has had a change uh in uh, the way consumers uh, you know consume content uh, mm-hmm. when it when specifically in india uh, what we've seen uh, in various consumer studies that we've done uh, during the pandemic and post pandemic mm-hmm. uh, indian consumers uh, than ever before have started realizing the importance of uh, quality audio mm-hmm. and quality uh, you know visual experience uh, they are increasingly seeking you know a better experience uh, whether it's in their living room whether it's on the go uh and and now that they are back at work even at work uh so you know talking about consumer studies uh, when we talk about uh, i think what what the consumers are definitely doing during the pandemic uh, they're connecting with content a lot more than they have connected in the past so when i spend more time with content i'm insisting on a better experience and for that i'm now as a consumer willing to upgrade and what the consumer studies are telling us we did a you know a recent consumer study uh, you know with uh, with counterpoint on on a living room uh, we did one with cmr on the on the smartphone side so both the studies are actually pointing towards a two pronged upgrade that the indian consumer has done because he or she is connecting more with content one by upgrading the device for a better experience so you know if i had an old tv i'm upgrading to the latest television which gives me you know better experience at the same time you know i'm upgrading from a single device hd you know uh, uh, plan to a uhd a dolby you know atmos or a dolby uh, vision enabled plan on on streaming service so it's both device and it's content uh, and and that's what we've seen uh, the consumers doing of late so when it comes to dolby what devices do people need to experience dolby is it sort of restricted still or is it more ubiquitous than we realize no dolby uh, experience is available to consumers in every aspect of entertainment they consume so right from cinemas mm-hmm. uh, you can consume dolby uh, content when you walk into a, a cinema near you uh there there are many screens in india when you talk about india specifically there are more than 800 you know dolby atmos enabled screens uh, you can watch them in multiplexes you can experience it in single theaters uh it's fairly uh, universal in the country uh second is of course the living room i mean living room there are multiple devices there where you can get the dolby experience uh the television of course uh you know you can have uh you know a a, a sound bar or a or a avr uh, you know attached you have smart speakers that deliver a dolby experience uh so from a uh, from a living room perspective uh, those are experiences that consumers are, are seeking and already consuming on the go uh, smartphones i mean india is a is a mobile first country uh you know we consume a lot of content on mobile uh, on the go uh consumers are connecting and consuming dolby enabled content whether it's av content or whether it's streaming music or podcasts uh you know on the go in in dolby uh, and dolby vision dolby atmos uh then comes the next scenario which is at work or working from home either ways uh there are you know pcs that come with dolby technology so you can consume uh, both av content as well as you know dolby voice uh, you know conferencing uh, you know uh, solutions that we have so yes but to your question there are enough and more uh <clears throat> and uh, there are various devices uh, you know where consumers can experience what is core to us as a company is that we work with the entire uh, ecosystem i think that's important to understand because we work with content creators on one side uh, to enable them uh, you know using our technology for better storytelling the content creator always wants to deliver his or her content uh, which is closest to his original intent mm-hmm. and that's what the technology does for them that's what the dolby technology both on the visual and the audio side does the second aspect is the delivery Uh, which is where we work with a lot of uh, you know streaming services and broadcast services uh, they use our technology for delivering the content and the third element in the in the in the ecosystem is the playback this is where devices come in so we work with uh, with a lot of devices to your question it's available uh, in all these scenarios uh, you know there's a lot of content now in india uh, both on streaming and on broadcast uh, there's a lot of uh, genres of content available and there are multiple devices to consume that all be enabled content on 
So do you have any idea how many streaming streaming services are supported by Dolby and are there plans for more? Because I personally was trying to, I was watching Woot, I think last weekend and I don't think Dolby has a, a set foot there. So is there a plan to have more streaming services in the Dolby uh, ecosystem? I think there are no surprises that we all Indians love the content. Uh, we connect with content far be- you know, uh, better than anything else. Uh, we work with a lot of streaming services, both global and Indian streaming mm-hmm. services. So you can get a Dolby experience uh, when I talk about global services like Netflix and Apple TV Plus or uh, um, Amazon Prime Video. Uh, Indian services, there are quite a few services that deliver a Dolby uh, you know, experience. Disney Plus Hotstar, Sun Next, Z5, mm-hmm. uh, Hoi Choi, uh, you know, which is a... Uh, our latest, uh, you know, uh, partners who uh, we work with very recently to enable their content with Dolby Atmos. Okay. Uh, so yes, there is a lot of momentum. There is a there are these are the services on the AV side. Now talking also about uh, the audio uh, side of the experience on streaming, uh, we work with Earshot, which uh, streams their podcasts. Uh, you know, in in uh, Dolby Atmos. Yes. On the music side, Apple Music, Hangama Music. Mm-hmm. You know, both uh, uh, you know global and uh, Indian services are now okay. streaming their music in Dolby Atmos. Mm-hmm. So this the, the the Indian consumer is is uh, spoiled for choices. There's mm-hmm. a lot of content out there in Dolby. Speaking of streaming uh, music uh, or even creating content, what about the content creators? Do they have to have specific equipment to be able to create uh, create a Dolby uh, content on their end? And can you let us know a little more about that? Sure. So I think uh, uh, what what the pandemic has also done is that you know uh, the uh, the uh, the consumer is also the creator. Yeah. So from a from a creator's perspective, Dolby Atmos music is a is a technology that the that the creator you know can use. The headphone mix can be done through a very simple setup. Uh, mm-hmm. He or she does not really, you know, of course, I mean, there is no limit when it comes to, you know, a studio, uh, you know, mix experience, mm-hmm. but uh, the technology, uh, you know, supports, uh, you know, a Dolby Atmos mix that you can even do, uh, you know, through a uh, through a PC uh, at home, you okay. can do the mix over a headphone and you can release it. That, that, that's the beauty of the technology. So, so the, for the creator, both the experiences or both the, uh, you know, uh, both the formats are sort of uh, available. He can, he or she can create it on the laptop, on a headphone or, mm-hmm. or in a studio. Uh, so there's a software that you yes. need to have for this. Yes. Okay. Um, what about Dolby Atmos for music? I think the last time I interviewed you guys, we were talking about that. So uh, what kind of reception has it received, especially in India? And how has the technology improved since its launch? So, you know, uh, uh, when you talk about music, it's again a complete ecosystem, uh, you know, uh, uh, connect that one has to do so we have multiple artists that have created music in Dolby Atmos since uh, you know the time we uh, 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 you know introduced Dolby Atmos music in India um, and the journey started with no one better than you know Rahman sir who yeah. started who, who's done multiple tracks in uh, and yes. albums in Dolby Atmos uh, to uh, you know Indian artists uh, both from a uh, you know who really whether it is you know songs from the films or it's their own uh, you know uh, mm-hmm. singles or albums that they're releasing in different uh, languages now so there's a lot of momentum there uh, that that one has seen mm-hmm. uh, we work with the artists on one side we work with the labels on the other side because uh, you know the labels uh, you know are again a very very critical part of the ecosystem okay. uh, we work with the uh, mix engineers uh, you know those are the those are the magicians who really bring out the you know the uh, the experience so uh, it's a complete ecosystem sort of a work that we do so mm-hmm. right from artists to labels to mix engineers to uh, you know uh, the entire uh, the studio uh, technicians we we sort of work with them and we enable so there's a lot of content a lot of indian Dolby Atmos music, uh, you know, content out of India available on streaming services. Basically, we saw a bit of Dolby Vision and experienced Dolby Atmos. So how do they work in tandem with each other across different devices and form factors, of course? And what are some of the challenges that you face when driving immersive entertainment experiences that people don't really realize when they when, you know, they experience it? Okay, so I think there are two parts to the question. One, uh, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. Uh, so 
Dolby Vision is a is a visual technology from Dolby. It's a it's right. a it's a HDR technology, um, and uh, it's a uh, it's a technology that one can experience on different uh, you know devices. Your uh, it's available in the cinemas, not in India but outside of India. You get Dolby Vision experience on your uh, televisions. You can get the Dolby Vision experience on your phones, on your PC. Uh, so it's a visual technology which you know uh, which uh, gives you. better color uh, brighter brights and darker darks the mm-hmm. you know the brights are uh, 10 times uh, you know 40 times brighter and the darks okay. are 10 times darker so you you see a better you know a dynamic range of colors you see okay. better contrast so that's a visual technology mm-hmm. dolby atmos is a object based you know audio technology where uh, you know you get uh, uh, you know the 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 content creator creates uh, uh, the mix uh, by treating sound as objects you right. the the demo that you heard right yes. it's it's literally something that will uh, transport you into the experience it mm. will bring you closer to the character and and you know stories that you love right. so the the combined uh, you know experience of dolby vision and dolby atmos uh, is is the best possible experience that the consumer can get so you know visual uh, and the audio experience in the best possible format is is what uh, you know vision and atmos is a combined experience delivers as i said available now you know in the living room it's available in cinemas uh, living room on the go at work or working from home uh, you you are spoiled for choices as a as a consumer uh, to your other part of the question you know in terms of uh, was it did you say challenge yes some of the challenges that uh, there are when you are working on an immersive experience i i wouldn't say challenges as such i think it's uh, from a consumer if i let, let me just factor it from a consumer standpoint i think there's a lot of work we do uh, through our partners i think one uh, not a challenge but an opportunity i see is is to educate the consumer on how to get the dolby okay. you know vision and an atmos experience this mm-hmm. is where we uh, work very closely with our partners uh you know in terms of driving awareness and driving education so you know work with partners on how to get that experience by doing a ab sort of comparison by educating them by creating how to videos and things like that so we use a lot of those touch points you know whether with the partners whether it's at retail or it's online on digital you know because there's a lot of uh, you know uh, consumption that's happening on digital yes. so yeah that's that's where but i would say that is more an opportunity than a challenge really but yes we do a lot of work with our partners okay. to educate What are some of the future plans of Dolby as theaters open up? Will the focus shift to uh, shift there, or will Dolby continue investing in you know at home experiences or on the go experiences as they have done during the pandemic? So uh, we believe uh, as a technology, uh, both Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, uh, as a technology, delivers the best experience that the device is capable of. Yeah. And from our perspective, uh, we believe that you know this experience is available to the consumers in various you know formats, whether it's cinemas or on the go or at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's a lot for us to cover. Uh, we you know uh, uh, I think uh, there is no substitute to cinemas. I think we Indians love the movies. uh and uh we would continue to watch them in cinema so uh, you know consumers definitely they've already started going back to cinemas with thing with cinemas now open up and there's mm-hmm. there's a lot of theatrical releases that have started coming up okay. in languages so i don't see consumers not going there that we are already going there i've been going i've take i've started taking my kids now uh, yeah, you know to movies so yeah it's it, there's no substitute to that at the same time from a living room and a on go on the go experience i think the pandemic in particular has uh, you know had us connect more with content and uh, you know we will continue to sort of consume a lot more content in a more uh, dedicated manner because we will want it in the best possible format we would want to try different form uh, you know different genres of content mm-hmm. uh, and that consumption is going to continue and also right now we're living in the era of 5g and the metaverse so what are dolby's thoughts here and what is the plan for the future in these uh, scenarios I mean, see, uh, wherever the consumer moves, you know, right. uh, the technology should be something that should support where the consumer moves. Yeah. Uh, for us, uh, we will continue to innovate. Uh, yeah. We would continue to work with the ecosystem to deliver uh, experiences uh, where the consumer goes. So, uh, nothing specific on these formats to share. But yeah, we will. We believe where the consumer is 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 something that we will follow. Maybe we could see Dolby in the metaverse, right? I wouldn't say that. I would. <laughs> I wouldn't deny. I wouldn't say yes. But okay. yes, I mean, um, where the consumer goes, okay. the technology should just enable a better experience. Okay. Is what we believe. So, what according to you is the best Dolby experience? Is it at the theater, at home, or on the go? 
So for me, the best experience, uh, you know, when I'm over the weekend, when I'm with my family in a cinema, mm-hmm. when I'm back home with my family, I watch it on my TV. Mm-hmm. And when I'm alone, I'm on the go, I'm running, I I get the Dolby experience on the so go. So for me, it's all. all. <laughs> I think with that we've reached the end of this interview. Thank you so much for joining us. It was an absolute pleasure and answering all of our questions. So thank you so much. Thank Anything you. else you would like to tell our viewers? No, I'm good. Thank you so much. I think uh, you guys have done a fantastic job. Must compliment you, uh, especially during this, you know, last two three years. Uh, you know, the port of call for consumers was to go to you know publications yeah. and and seek out. Uh, I think you guys have done a fabulous job on that. Yeah. So my compliments there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.